Welcome back to our Christmas content advent calendar where each and every day through to the 24th of December we're bringing you a brand new video. Now today, in today's video, we're diving into Lightroom. I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Now I use this a lot for landscape photography, a little bit for portrait, especially if it's a wider portrait, more of an environmental portrait where you're incorporating the landscape into the shot. But we're going to be talking through how you can use just the one slider, the dehaze slider, to add fog, mist, general haze to your photo and this works on any photo that has even the slightest hint of, of atmospheric haze of fog of mist so let's just let's just dive straight in so i've got i've got a few photos i'm going to show you how this works on so that you can see it's not just one photo that happens to work very well uh, it's actually incredibly easy and once you know how to do it as well very very fast now I use this quite a lot to kind of dramatically enhance certain parts of the image or maybe just maybe just give a little bit of a, a, an atmosphere to the photo, even in scenes where there was no fog, where there was no mist, nothing like that. But if there's even the slightest idea of it, then this will work. Obviously in a situation where it's very heavy contrast, so for example, a perfectly sunny summer's day, I imagine this wouldn't work, although admittedly, I've never tried, so I couldn't tell you for 100%. But let's dive into this photo here. So I've got this nice photo of this swan with all these little babies and they're swimming along uh, on this river. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of, uh, of, of mist to the water, you know, make it look like an early morning shot or maybe it's just a, just a misty day. Now we're gonna be using the dehaze slider to create the kind of mist and fog and stuff like that. Now if you're not familiar with dehaze, it's not a slider that I often touch, to be honest, unless I really need to, but it's essentially gonna help your photo cut through some of the haze, some of the some of the fog. You know, if you've got a particularly hazy photo, uh, sometimes it can kind of add enough contrast in a clever way to actually cut through some of that. But we're gonna use it in the opposite way to that, and we're actually going to add that haze, that mist, that fog to this photo. Now, normally you'd go over to the dehaze slider here and you'd pull it over to the right and it's, it's adding contrast, and it's just sort of just sort of cutting through any any uh, any mist there. We're gonna do it the other way. We're gonna pull it towards the left. Now, I know that sounds like a very simple idea, but watch what happens when you do. Even just across the whole image, by pulling it to the left, we're getting kind of a slightly misty, foggy effect. And that's very, very cool, but we can do it much better than this. Let's double click that to reset it. Let's come up here to the adjustment brush. Now, if you've got things already set in there, you can just double click here where it says effect to reset the whole brush. And we're gonna, we're gonna paint this on ourselves. So let's bring the dehaze down to about minus 75, something like that, minus 77 is absolutely fine. Um, and let's bring the flow down. Yeah, I've already got down to 64. I think about 64, 65 is probably about right. Now with the flow reduced, it's allowing you to paint on. And then if you go back over, it's gonna strengthen it a little bit. It's, it's, it's a very handy thing to be able to do. Let's bring that brush size up. And let's just paint across the middle here and go back across it. And then a little bit across this water as well. But something with fog that's worth uh, worth bearing in mind, it's always gonna be uh, stronger. The effect of it is gonna be stronger the further away it is from you because you're looking through more and more of the fog. So it's essentially thicker, uh, or at least appears to be thicker, further away from you compared to what's close to you. So the foreground wants to have a slightly less dehazed effect on it compared to uh, to the middle ground and of course the background as well. So you wanna, you wanna build it up a little bit to make it look more natural. Another way you can do it is with the graduated filter. So we come up here to the top right, we've got the graduated filter there. Again, we just wanna have the setting with the dehaze pulled down to about minus 75. And you can click and drag that on. Now, now that works really well if you do want to have kind of almost like a gradient of, uh, of this fog and mist uh, coming in there. Let's go over to another photo. Let's come over to this one. Now this is a perfect example of a photo where I might want to add a little bit of uh, fog or mist. Obviously I've already edited these photos, but I'm going to go ahead and actually paint this in again. So let's grab the adjustment brush. I've already got my dehaze down to minus 77. Let's just start painting that in. You can adjust the size of the brush using the scroll wheel, using your mouse. Um, I'm just gonna start painting that in. I wanna paint it mostly across the water because I think that's gonna look the most natural. Um, I'm trying to avoid this tree a little bit, but I wanna make it thicker the further away it is. So if you look at that, that's probably about it. It's probably about done. I might paint a little bit further up just to, just to sell it a little bit more, but if I do it before and after, that was before and that's after. So we've literally just gone on and painted in some kind of mist 
hazy fog. Uh, I think it looked great. Let's go over to another photo. We've got this photo with this road uh, kind of going towards. It's actually sunrise. Looks a bit like sunset, but it's actually sunrise. I suppose they do look very similar. Um, let's go ahead and just paint it on again. So I've already got my adjustment brush open. Dehaze down to minus 77. Again, this is a perfect example of it. It's going to be stronger the further away it is. Uh, so let's paint that in. And then just a little bit over here. And we can just paint onto those hills a little bit. And uh, and there we go. Now, again, maybe you want to in afterwards dial it down a little bit. You can go back. If you click the adjustment brush, you're going to see the little dots on the photo. That's where you've actually already have used an adjustment brush on the photo. You've already got a mask on there. You can click on that and then you can adjust it. You can pull that dehaze up and down and do whatever you like. I think it looks quite nice like that. Let's look at it before and after. That was before. That's after adding a bit of fog. You can see how easy this is. It's it's actually crazy how easy it is, um, but it, it can make a big difference. Now, I'm not saying you should do it to every photo, not even at all, but, but it can be a useful thing to do to your photos. It can add a bit of atmosphere, add a bit of fog. And like I say, if you're in a situation where you've got a little bit of a misty morning, but it's just not coming through on the photos, this is a great way to just accentuate it. A great way to just add that in a little bit, and it's so easy. Now, of course, this works in uh, in Photoshop as well, and I'm sure, absolutely, in other editing software as well. In fact, I'm planning to do some uh, some videos on some other editing software in the new year, so hopefully we'll do things like Capture One and stuff like that. But for the meantime, this works perfectly in Lightroom, and of course, in Photoshop as well. Now, if you have any questions about how to do this or anything you've seen in the video, pop it down in the comments below. Any thoughts on this as well, pop it down there as well. I always love hearing your thoughts about various things. I'll pop a full list of all the equipment used for these photos down in the description so you can check that out for yourself. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that cool stuff. That genuinely really helps out. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more because there's loads of stuff all the time. I will see you tomorrow. And of course, of course, as always, Thanks for watching.